Hi everyone. Today I'm helping a friend of mine update a small bathroom with just a few simple DIY projects that won't break the bank. This project is brought to you by Smart Tiles, tiling made simple. After renovating a lot of his condo, my friend only had $200 left to update this small half bath. On his wish list was changing the light fixture, adding more storage, and giving the bathroom an overall relaxed, elegant look. So the first thing I did to add that touch of elegance was to put in a backsplash above the vanity. I chose to use Smart Tile's mosaic tile in a Capri taupe color scheme. It has a beautiful dual finish with some stone-like tiles and some shiny tiles that reflect the light from different angles. Just beautiful. Because it's a peel and stick tile, there's no need for grouting, so installing is really quick, mess free, and it doesn't require any special tools. First, I prepped the surface by cleaning it with degreaser, like TSP. And I debated whether to make the backsplash the full height of the tile, which is about 10 inches, or to make it a bit shorter. And in the end, I decided to go with a shorter backsplash of about 7 inches high. I cut the tile with the help of a ruler and a utility knife. I like using a ruler with cork on the back because it prevents the ruler from sliding around while I'm cutting the tile. For the first tile, I also cut off the ends to have a straight edge. Then I mark the top of the tile on the wall. And you might have to remove some of the existing caulking for the tile to sit flush at the bottom. Then I use a level to trace a line across. This line is really helpful because it acts as a guide to line up the tiles so that you get perfect joints. To install the tile, I peeled off a couple inches of the backing. And I used the line as a guide to make sure that it's straight. I lightly pressed on the end first, and then I removed the rest of the backing, and then pressed on the tile to make sure that it sticks to the wall properly. I repeated the process with the next tile, again lining up the top of the tile with the line, and adjusting it until the joint was seamless. The last tile in the corner at the wall here was a bit tricky because of the awkward angle. So instead of trying to use a tape measure to get exact measurements, I used a sheet of paper to make a template. I lined up the piece of paper to where the next tile started, I made a crease at the corner, and then placed the template on the back of the tile and cut it at the crease. This trick worked like a charm. The last step was to add smart edges to the side and the top. For a nice clean corner, I cut the ends at a 45 degree angle. To get a perfect 45 degree cut, I use a speed square to first draw a straight line on my piece of scrap wood. And then I use the 45 degree side of the speed square to make the cut. This will give you a perfect joint every time. This backsplash took less than an hour to install, and it's amazing how such a small change instantly added an upscale feeling to the bathroom. Next, I got to tackle the lighting fixture. Now, to say that it's dated is a bit of an understatement. Not only is it dated, but it's also not centered across the vanity, which is really annoying. Now, I didn't have enough budget to actually replace the entire fixture, so instead, I simply covered it up with a shade that I made with wood and inexpensive plexiglass that I covered in cloth. The whole thing is very light, so I was able to hang it using just 3M command strips to avoid making holes in the wall. And by chaining it to one side, the fixture actually looks centered even though the original light was not. Not bad for less than $15. My friend also wanted more storage in the bathroom, so I opted to go with a storage cabinet that goes over the toilet, much like the one that I made in my bathroom. I made the structure using inexpensive furring strips and 1x2 pine boards. And I used plywood and some more furring strips to make the shelves. And the whole thing was easy to put together with just a few screws and a drill. I finished the cabinet to match the lighting fixture. I used chalk paint and some wood tint that I then protected with white wax. Since this is a very tall and narrow cabinet, I secured it to the wall with a wall anchor kit that I got at IKEA. I attached the strap to the wall and then to the cabinet. You can get these kits for free at any IKEA store. All that was left to do to complete the makeover was to add the finishing touches to bring everything together. The bathroom most definitely looks more current and upscale. And the best part is the entire makeover only cost $189, $11 under budget. Look in the video description below for more info on the smart tiles that I used and also all the other materials and products that I used in the makeover. I'll also have links to the videos on how to make the lamp project and how to build a bathroom storage cabinet. 
Now don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want to find out what I'm up to day to day, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.